Hey yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk. Welcome back guys to World of Tanks and LP Bronco. LP Bronco. Let's get everything set up here correctly. LP Bronco and his M44. Tier 6 American. Tier 6 American artillery. I don't often do artillery. Why? Well, you know what? Let's just watch the artillery. I got my coffee. Takes a shot and misses. Misses the Alpine Tiger. Rawr. Kind of looking at him, waiting for the reload. The M44 is probably one of the best, if not the best, artillery pound for pound in the game. At tier 6, it certainly is. I think there's an argument for, in the, for it being the best in the game. You can really make some cash with this thing. Don't have to shoot gold to be very effective. Reloads pretty quickly, pretty accurate. Look at this Type 64 just raging around. I want you to watch this shot right here. This is pretty fun. Just our leads the guy and takes a shot. Ooh. <laughs> See how it didn't hit the ground? Well, that means it hit him. And there's his stun. And bizarrely, and I mean bizarrely, either it panned and just super roll load. Roll load? <laughs> low rolled. Is he going to miss him? He misses him again. Super low rolled. Or he hit the gun, or I don't know. Hit the tracks, maybe something weird happened right there. But I would have thought... Pretty much that thing would have been one shot, but he had quite a few of his hit points left. Alpine Tiger is skittering around over there just hoping that he doesn't get hit. And boink! That's one of the problems with the M44. More heavily armored tanks, tier 8 heavies especially, will tend to just kind of shrug off shots from the M44. LP's got 166 stun. This actually ends up being a really good game. Drops one in there and misses. The TVP is a very thinly armored tank. So an M44 is going to have his way with him. He switches over here. One thing you'll notice with LP on this, which I thought was interesting, is he uses the G view quite a bit, and I think he's got a zoom out mod. I'm not sure you can actually zoom out this far in vanilla. Puts a little stun action on the KV-2. Another thing I'm noticing there, LP, is you tend to not quite let it zoom in all the way. Might want to do that. Might help you out, help you be a little bit more accurate in there. He drops one in on the... That one goes really long. Drops one in on where he last saw the KV-2, and now he's switching across. Because he's got such a zoom out with the mod, he can actually see a lot of the map. Just zinging around here. Check in the middle. He's got a Digger Max, a Scorpion G, a couple other guys hanging out on the 1-2 line. Looks like the looks like the hill is completely taken. That one didn't get anything out of it. Somebody else killed him first. The hill is taken. There doesn't seem to be much over on the east side. And there's already four of them dead, so they're up four to two. It looks like he's going to switch to the overhead for just a moment, and then goes right back down to the G view. We've got a Centurion 5-1, so we'll just take a little plank at this guy. There's another example of it going in and not hitting the ground, so obviously it hit that TVP. Look at the TVP's hit points when he shows back up here. He's going to get spotted momentarily. And you will note that... A chunk of his hit points are gone. Yep, look at him, he's at 174. Drops one in, puts a little bit more onto the Centurion 5-1, gets some damage after stunned, which is sort of like assist, but not. It's worth experience. And I assume as well credits. Got the KV-2 still raging around, so we'll just zing over here. And you'll notice the amazing amount of maneuver that LP has to do while he's lapping people that are behind cover <laughs> drops it straight on the poor KV-2 TVP dies, Leo is out in the open, he's not going to last very long gets hit again Centurion is seen, we're going to sneak one between the buildings blap, hit him again, looks like he tracked him, and the poor Centurion is just thinking, maybe I can survive, no not going to survive at 6-2, and LP and his team have basically had their way with these guys Maybe a bit of a scrap. Here's the FV-201 who uh, just moments ago was thinking, well, let me see if I can move up and get some shots. <laughs> that went well. That went well. There's a tree down right there of something you can see when you've got a large field of view like this does. And that is one of the reasons why I would consider the zoom out mod to be an unfair mod. It lets you do something or see something, it gives you a capability that the vanilla does not have, and that absolutely, the zoom out mod absolutely gives you 
a capability that the vanilla client does not have because you can see so much of the battle right now. Doesn't quite realize or wait for it, realize, doesn't quite wait for him to zoom all the way in, but he does hit him and the poor scorpion gets tracked and he's just waiting for the end. There he goes. Thank you. Thank you for ending me. Now I can move on to another map. A couple more guys have moved up. This poor 25-2. A little bit short there. It looks like you were not quite aiming at him, but thumped him and then <laughs> Dicker Max shot goes in. Something to note, which you'll see when we get to the results. If you're playing artillery and you hit somebody who is dark, or they go dark after you've hit them, the credit for the damage while stunned, or if they say they were tracked for the assist damage, does not show up immediately down there in your little reckoning area and your little tracking area where it shows 831 and 1244 and now 983 and 1486 but you will see it at the end of the battle looks like he's probably figures the 43 is going to die before he can get to it moves on back poor alpine tiger oh, little forward little back a little crazy and alpine tiger dies before he can quite get there now we've got a challenger a challenger is getting rocked <laughs> moves to the su-8 maybe we can get some su-8 damage Probably not. Watch the Sioux 80 moves and puts his front armor to the bad guys. Oh, there we go. And now it's just the Challenger and the other M44. Oh, man. This makes me tired. That's why I've got my coffee right now, so I can try to wake up. Some dynamic gameplay going on right here. Notice the shot went out. I don't know if I've ever seen the shot go out from this view, so... I didn't think it was possible, but there you go. You saw it. I think he's to the right. Yeah, there he is. We're going to take a shot. But everyone and their mother shoots him. Bap, bap, boom, bam. <laughs> down, down goes the last guy. 983, 17, 22. Take a look at the results at the end. He actually did more damage because he was hitting dark tanks. Something to think about when you're doing missions with the artillery is if a tank is dark and you're hitting it, you're getting, you don't have to share the credit for the spotting. So that's one of the techniques. For making sure that you get a little extra experience when you're trying to do that top experience mission. There's several of them out there of various kinds. If you can hit a dark target, then go ahead and do so. For one of my big missions, I actually found a T-57 that was AFK on the cap. Somebody lit him and then he went dark and I shot in the same place for a good portion of the rest of the battle until I killed him. And that was the amount of XP it took to push me over the top on that particular mission. But even when you're actually helping the team and shooting where you should be against tanks that are actually playing the game, if you're shooting dark tanks, you're going to get the experience all to yourself. And I just, now that I'm sleepy, I think I probably want to go take a nap. It was just too much dynamism. Dynamism? 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 I think that's the word. Too much dynamic gameplay for me all in one sitting. I hope. Hope you guys aren't too tired from watching that because it was surely amazing. <laughs> That's well. At the end of the day, if you're going to do, if you're going to play artillery, you might as well do it right. And this was a good example of how to do it right. All right, guys, take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you.